Hello, hello, and welcome back to this month's Mirrorless Spotlight. I'm your host, Naja Springer, and today I'm speaking to Arnell Martinez regarding his Kobe Bryant mural located at the Tustin Recreation Center. Thank you so much for meeting me today and agreeing to be this month's Mirrorless Spotlight. Oh, absolutely. It's really a pleasure to be here. Yeah, so we're just gonna hop right into it. So firstly, could you tell me a little bit about your background as an artist and the pronouns that you use? Uh, yeah, absolutely. So uh, I'm originally from Los Angeles, California. Um, so I had that connection Kobe that way. Uh, um, yes. but, you know, for the past almost 30 years, I've been in Philly and around Philly. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a deep uh, connection to, to Philly as a city. And so, um, you know, when the opportunity came up to to do a to acknowledge, you know, the tragic passing of Kobe and, and Gigi Bryant, um, you know, I was really excited about it. You know, it was it was really an honor to to uh, have those prior connections, but to also celebrate their lives and legacy, and to you know to sort of not bring closure to something like that, but to you know to help in that process of healing, particularly in the city of Philadelphia. You know, we know of course that his widow Vanessa continues to carry that burden but as a city you know we got to come to terms with it and you know at the same time sort of celebrate uh colby's impact in the nba and around the world and how he represented our city as, as, a, as a superstar yeah that's beautiful so how did you get involved in art did you grow up around it did your parents yeah. you know that? yeah you no know, it, it started off admiring graffiti you know, and and so you know, you drive around graffiti, <laughs> like how do they get on the walls? Um, that sort of gave me that spark. Um, and I tried to be a graffiti artist when I was a little kid. You know, I was trying to do graffiti and stuff like that. Um, and you know, and then I started seeing murals, and I was wondering how the murals are made and how to get this picture so big, stuff like that. Um, and you know, that kind of always been inside of me, and so. Uh, as a young person, I had teachers who encouraged me to pursue art, went to college, you know, and, you know, as a graduate student, uh, I had the opportunity to meet Jane Golden, our founder of, of Mural Arts. And, you know, when I was about to graduate, Jane said, hey, would you like to come do murals with me at Mural Arts? I said, absolutely. And, you know, 20 something years later, here we are. Wow, that's awesome. Um, so I did want to ask your first murals, were those right here in Philadelphia? Absolutely. Um, okay. yeah. First paid murals. Let me let me put a little cap okay. on that. <laughs> yeah, right. so, was in Philadelphia, and you know my first like official mural was the Malcolm X mural that I did in the Strawberry Mansion neighborhood of Philly. Okay, yeah, I've seen that before. Driving to Temple, it's a very beautiful mural. Oh, I appreciate. It. Thank you very much. Yep. Yes, most certainly. So you already told me a little bit about your background, you know, being from Los Angeles. But how did you become directly involved with the mural project? Uh, so it was a class at Penn and that Jane was teaching. And so yeah. uh, I did a mural um, in the Mantua neighborhood, which is right off campus. And that was my first time working with the community of Philadelphia uh, and doing public art in that context. And so after, you know, after going through that process of like, you know, how to design, how to conceptualize, how to have community uh, engagements and meetings. Uh, and then the end result was a piece of public art. You know, mm -hmm. that was beautiful. And, you know, it sort of gave me the opportunity to uh, escape the sort of ivory towers of that, of that school and to really get to learn the city of Philadelphia through the mm -hmm. eyes, through the eyes of a community member and uh, and then to have some relationships uh, with folks that were off campus. And so, mm -hmm. uh, you know, for the last 20 something years, it's just been that process over and over again in different ways, in different neighborhoods, different communities. So, you know, as an artist and who does public art, you really do start to feel as if you're an ambassador uh, for different parts and different neighborhoods in the city because mm -hmm. you're getting people from uh, black captains to council people to the mayor to you know to people activists you sort of work with all these different communities within exactly. the prison prisons and you know I've, I've been blessed and fortunate to have the opportunity to work with many many people from different institutions mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you for explaining that. So were you like, obviously you were the one that created the mural, but what, what was like the background stage that went into creating it? How did you come up with the design and what was the process, you know, that you went into creating this? Yeah. So uh, it was, you know, with these, it was having really just conversations, like all public art starts off as conversations mm -hmm. and having a 
a, a, a conversation with Kat Cologne, who was uh, a representing Vanessa. Okay. Uh, and, 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 you know, Vanessa wanted to see some, some examples of my artwork. And so, you know, she's always had a tough time seeing portraits of Kobe and Gigi. She, she always thought they looked kind of weird. And yeah. so she could do a drawing or a sketch and send it to me, you know, before we sort of uh, continue this process. And so I, was ha I happily did that. I uh, did a drawing for her, she loved it. And then, uh, you know, once I had that blessing, then it was about having sort of conversations about, well, what would you like to see sort of captured or represented, you know, talking to Vanessa in this mural. Mm -hmm. And so we just, process of several months of kind of going back and forth. I'm doing design, doing edits, revisions, and so forth, until we kind of came to something that she really loved. Mm -hmm. And then it was just out of production. And that's when like, you know, uh, Mural Arts put together a team of other artists that actually produced the mural. Because mm -hmm. I was away working on something else. And so, um, you know, we had a team of wonderful artists uh, Gabe Tiberino, Tariq, Mike, there was a bunch of dudes that kind of put things together on the site. And, and then I jumped in and we all kind of knocked out that mural within a 10 day span, which was pretty amazing. Wow, 10 days. That's right. 10 days, that is so, so quick. So have you ever worked on a mural within that time span before? Uh, not to that scale. That's, I mean, that's, it, it was just not, it was just not a, a, a mural. It was actually a basketball court. So we had mm -hmm. a set of Get two basketball courts and transform the entire environment around that court with the mural. So the mural sort of wrapped around the courts. So it's a ton of work. Uh, and you know, big ups to those fellas that, that helped out. Um, and uh, but to answer your question, nothing of that size. I've done murals within <laughs> nothing that large. Wow, okay. I've seen the mural before and it's very beautiful. Very beautiful. Thank yes, of yeah. course. So, you know, you've been talking about education and you know your class that you went to in Penn. Do you have any advice for a young or just artist of any age? Yeah, um, you know, just I always encourage uh, young people to do whatever they like, art or otherwise. You know, don't look for a profession, look for something you love, uh, love mm -hmm. doing, feel like a job when you're doing it. And you, know, you make your love, your, 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 your passion, your source of income. So, you know, for all young artists, you know, don't think you have to run to an art gallery to do art. You can do art in your community. You can serve your community. Uh, you can collaborate and, and work with other people outside of your comfort zone. I always encourage people to do that as well. You know, because when you have to collaborate, it's a lot harder than just doing your own thing and getting all that praise, right? So, uh, so I always encourage and push people to challenge themselves to work in different capacities uh, to to better themselves as creators. That's really good advice and. I am curious to know, are you currently working on any projects or are there, is there anything that we should be keeping our eyes out for? Yes, I'm, well, I'm working on a couple projects, but one that's really, 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 really exciting is the Color People Convention project that's working, that's going on at the moment. Yes. We're working with uh, folks from multiple universities who did a ton of research on that rich history of Black or organizing prior to the Civil Rights Movement, which is uh, really a precursor to the Civil Rights mm -hmm. and doing a second mural, which is, uh, I'm redoing a mural that I did 15 years ago, mm -hmm. uh, some life and legacy of Hank Gavitt, who tragically died as a young man, uh, who was a star out of that Strawberry Mansion of uh, North Philly community, uh, who tragically died uh, just as he got in the NBA. So we're redoing and revisioning and reimagining that mural uh, right now. Awesome. I'm definitely excited to see all these murals, especially the mural uh, regarding what happened before the civil rights. Um, and where can we find you on social media? And do you have a website? I, uh, Amber Art, uh, AmberArtDesign.com uh, is the website. Uh, my okay. social media is art underscore buyer now on Instagram. And you follow me there and, uh, you know, show some love. All right, y'all, you heard it. We're going to tag you right down below. Make sure to give him some love, give him a follow, check out his website, and keep up to date with the amazing work that he is doing. Thank you so much for being this month's Mirrorless Spotlight. I really appreciate it. And until next time, y'all, keep doing art.